capturing images in X-ray vision. X-ray Vision supports image acquisition from a multitude of hardware manufacturers in the dental industry. Many imaging devices use Apteryx extensions to communicate with the software. These extensions can be downloaded from our updates website at www.apteryx.com forward slash Apteryx dash updates dash site under the imaging devices heading. If no extension is available for your hardware, a Twain driver can also be utilized. Twains have their own unique interface, but will return captured images into X-ray vision. You will need to consult with the manufacturer of your hardware to see if they have any available Twain drivers for your device. For a list of Apteryx compatible imaging hardwares, please visit our webpage at www.apteryx.com forward slash supported dash hardware. Capturing layout images. A layout is a group of tiles displayed in a single workplace. Tiles are grouped anatomically to reflect tooth positioning in a patient's mouth. Note: Layout definitions specify the source, sensor, scanner, etc., from which the image will be acquired. By default, layouts are configured to capture from sensors. To capture layout images from the current patient, click on the Capture Layout Images icon on the toolbar, or click File, Acquire, Capture Layout Images. The Select Layout screen displays, allowing users to choose the layout definition to be used for capture. By default, X-ray vision includes layouts for bite wings, posteriors, anteriors, full mouth series, etc. Layouts can be edited or created in the Layout Definition options. More information on creating layouts and editing layouts will be covered in a later video. Note: By default, this window displays available layouts in icon view. Additional views include list and icon and name. Select the tab preferred for viewing layouts on the selection screen, and it will be stored as a default setting for the workstation. Select the desired capture layout by double-clicking on it, or click on it once to highlight it, and then click on OK. The selected layout will open up in capture mode. Note that the first tile in the series is selected, awaiting an image capture. Additionally, Note that the tile capture order is indicated by a large yellow number, and the related tooth numbers are displayed in each tile. Warning: X-ray images will be automatically captured in the order set by the layout definitions. They will be oriented according to the teeth defined in the layout tile. If the user deviates from the order without taking the proper steps, images will be placed in the wrong tile and be oriented incorrectly. Click the Capture Series button in the top left portion of the Capture Layout window. If a layout has been configured to use a specific hardware extension, that hardware will ready itself for acquisition, and the series capture can begin. If no specific hardware extension is predefined, the user will be prompted to select from a list of available capture hardware. The list of hardware choices will depend on the capture source on the layout tiles. Select Continue to use this sensor slash source if all images in the layout will be captured using the same hardware source. If unchecked, the user will have to specify a hardware source between each capture in the series. The software will advance and prepare the hardware for X-ray exposure. The indicator will turn green when the sensor is ready to capture an image. A vocal cue will also be heard if the computer had a sound card and speakers. Proceed to shoot the X-ray. The new image from the hardware will appear in the selected tile. The application will then advance to the next tile in the series. If Continue using this sensor slash source was selected, the hardware will automatically be prepared and readied for the next capture. If not, the user will be prompted to select a source for the next image file. Repeat the capture process until the last image in the series has been captured. Once all the images are captured, click the Done button. The layout capture screen will close and the layout complete with images in each tile, will display the Layout View screen on the application's desktop. For more information on about retaking images and other interactions during capture, refer to our Interacting with Layouts video tutorial. Continuous Series Capture Continuous Series Capture mode allows users to repeatedly take shots of a specific tooth or teeth without having to manually ready the sensor before each exposure. This method is commonly used during endodontic procedures, 
so that x-rays can be taken at any time during the process without having to interact with the software. To initiate a continuous series capture, click the Capture Layout button on the toolbar or select File, Acquire, Capture Layout Images. The Select Layout window will appear. Click the Continuous Series button at the bottom of the window. Select the tooth or teeth that you wish to focus on during the continuous capture. The Capture Layout screen will then appear. Click the Capture Series button in the top left of the window and choose the sensor that you wish to use from the list. Click OK. The sensor will ready and you will be able to take the first image in the series. Once the image is returned, another tile will be created and the sensor will automatically ready itself for the next exposure. Once you have finished capturing images, Click on the Stop Series Capture button in the bottom right of the Capture Layout window. Then click on the Done button at the top of the window. For more information about retaking images and other interactions during layout capture, refer to our Interacting with Layouts video tutorial. Multiple PA Capture Multiple PA Capture mode allows users to generate an on-the-fly layout that can contain any combination of custom shots. These configurations are one-time use only and are not retained for future captures. To initiate a multiple PA series capture, click the Capture Layout button on the toolbar or select File, Acquire, Capture Layout Images. The Select Layout window will appear. Click the Multiple PA button at the bottom of the window. The Multiple PA Capture window will appear. In this window, the user can create shots by clicking on a single tooth or by clicking and dragging over multiple teeth. The selected shots are then placed in a series list at the top of the window. Users can use the Tooth Control Options button to change between dentition formats, adult, deciduous, etc. The Layout Imaging Extension Preference dropdown can be used to specify a capturing hardware for the layout. In this example, three shots have been created. The first shot is a right BW, the second is a left BW, and the third is a PA of tooth 8 and 9. Once shots have been created, there are several options that can be used to manipulate them. The Edit Selected Shot button allows the user to change the tooth associations of the shot, as well as the sensor's orientation in the mouth if desired. The Delete Selected Shot button will delete the currently selected shot from the series list. The Move Selected Shot Up, Down button will move the selected shot up or down in the series order. Click OK when you have finished adding and manipulating shots in the series. X-Ray Vision will generate a one-time use layout based upon the shots that were selected in the previous window. To begin capturing images, click the Capture Series button in the upper left corner of the window. Note: If no hardware was chosen in the Layout Imaging Extension Preference dropdown on the previous screen, the user will then be prompted to select a hardware. Once you have completed the layout capture, click the Done button at the top of the window. Intraoral Camera Capture X-Ray Vision offers an easy-to-use direct video and real-time interface that allows users to capture live images from video sources such as intraoral and digital cameras. The real-time video extension is used for capturing images from an older analog intraoral video cameras connected to computers via video card. The direct video extension is more commonly used for recent technology that connects cameras via USB, FireWire cameras, and DirectX video capture cards. In this video tutorial, captures will be limited to capturing from an intraoral camera with the more commonly used direct video extension. Note: By default, the direct video extension is enabled. To change to real-time video extension older analog cameras, click on Tools, Hardware Options, Imaging Devices, and enable the Real-Time Video option under the Select Video Device category. Select the Capture Video Image button from the toolbar, or click File, Acquire, Capture Video Image. The direct video interface displays. Note: If more than one camera is attached to the computer, select Video Devices from the menu and then select the correct device. Note that the live video feed is on the right-hand side. Place the camera in the patient's mouth and position it where desired. 
Capture the image using one of the following methods. Pressing the button on the camera. Stepping on the foot pedal, if configured. Clicking the capture button in the direct video interface. Or press the space bar on the keyboard. Once captured, a thumbnail of the image will appear on the left side of the direct video interface. When finished, click the Done button. Multiple images can be captured at once, if desired. Additional thumbnails will appear below the initial one as images are captured. Users can right-click on one of the image thumbnails to perform the following operations. View full screen, which opens the selected images in a full screen view. Delete current image, which deletes the selected image from the list of thumbnails. Or delete all images, which deletes all of the image thumbnails in the list. When finished, click the Done button. The direct video interface will close and the image or images will be acquired and displayed on the application desktop.